Saint Joseph in Hebrew is known as Yosef, in Greek, Iosif, in Italian, San Giuseppe, in Latin, Sancte Joseph. His feast day is March the 19th. His secondary feast day, which is celebrated as Saint Joseph the Worker, is celebrated on May 1st. Saint Joseph is often symbolized by a carpenter's square or other tools, by the infant Jesus, by a staff with lily blossoms on it, by two turtle doves, or a rod of spikenard, a perfumed plant. Joseph is venerated as Saint Joseph in the Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church, Anglicanism, and in Lutheranism. In Catholic traditions, Joseph is regarded as the patron saint of workers and is associated with various feast days. The month of March is dedicated to Saint Joseph. Pope Pius IX declared him to be both the patron and the protector of the Catholic Church. In addition to his patronages of the sick and of a peaceful death, due to the belief that he died in the presence of Jesus and Mary, Joseph has become patron of various dioceses and places. The first appearance of Joseph is in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, from around 80 to 90 AD. Each contains a genealogy of Jesus showing ancestry from King David. In Matthew, Joseph obeys the direction of an angel to Mary, the Virgin Mary. Following the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, Joseph is told by an angel in a dream to take the family to Egypt to escape the massacre of the children of Bethlehem planned by King Herod, the ruler of the Roman province of Judea. Once Herod has died, an angel tells Joseph to return, but to avoid Herod's son. He takes his wife and the child to Nazareth in Galilee and settles there. So, in Matthew, the infant Jesus, like Moses, is in danger from a cruel king. And like Moses, he has a forefather named Joseph who goes down to Egypt. Like in the Old Testament Joseph, this Joseph has a father named Jacob, and both Josephs receive important dreams foretelling their future. In the Gospel of Luke, Joseph already lives in Nazareth, and Jesus is born in Bethlehem because Joseph and Mary have to travel there to be counted in a census. In the Gospels, Joseph's occupation is mentioned only once. In the Gospel of Matthew, is this not the carpenter's son? or in Greek, hotu teknos huios. Joseph's description as a tekaton has been traditionally translated into English as carpenter, but it's a rather general word from the same root that gives us technical and technology, and that could cover makers of objects in various materials. The Greek term makes us think of an artisan with wood in general or possibly an artisan in iron or stone. The earliest records of a formal devotional following for St. Joseph date to the year 800 and references to him as Nutritor Domini, which in Latin is educator or guardian of the Lord. St. Thomas Aquinas discussed the necessity of the presence of St. Joseph in the plan of the Incarnation, because if Mary had not been married, the people of her time would have stoned her, and that in his youth Jesus needed the care and protection of a human father. In 1889, Pope Leo XIII issued an encyclical in which he urged Catholics to pray in communion with Saint Joseph as the patron of the Church in view of the challenges facing the Church. In 1962, Pope John XXIII inserted the name of Joseph in the canon of the Mass, immediately after that of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In 2013, Pope Francis had his name added to three other Eucharistic prayers. In 1989, Pope John Paul II issued Redemptoris Custos, or the Guardian of the Redeemer, 
which presented St. Joseph's role in the plan of redemption. Together with the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Child Jesus, Joseph is one of the three members of the Holy Family. March 19th is St. Joseph's Day. It's been the principal feast of St. Joseph in Western Christianity since the 10th century. It's celebrated by Catholics, Anglicans, and many Lutherans, and some other denominations as well. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Feast of St. Joseph is celebrated on the first Sunday after the Nativity of Christ. Popular customs among Christians of various liturgical traditions observing St. Joseph's Day are attending Mass or the Divine Service, wearing red clothing, carrying dried fava beans that have been blessed, and assembling home altars dedicated to St. Joseph. In Sicily, where St. Joseph is regarded by many as their patron saint, and in many Italian, American, and Canadian communities, thanks are given to St. Joseph for preventing a famine in Sicily during the Middle Ages. According to legend, there was a severe drought at the time, and the people prayed for their patron saint to bring them rain. They promised that if God answered their prayers through Joseph's intercession, they would prepare a large feast to honor him. The rain did come, and the people of Sicily prepared a large banquet for their patron saint. The fava bean was the crop which saved the population from starvation, and is a traditional part of St. Joseph's Day altars and traditions. Giving food to the needy is a St. Joseph's Day custom. Macu di San Giuseppe is a traditional Sicilian dish that consists of various ingredients, dates to ancient times, which is prepared with fava beans as a primary ingredient. On a typical St. Joseph's Day altar, people place flowers, limes, candles, wine, fava beans, specially prepared cakes, breads and cookies, as well as other meatless dishes, and zeppoli. Foods are traditionally served containing breadcrumbs to represent sawdust, since Joseph was seen as a carpenter. Because the feast occurs during Lent, traditionally no meat was allowed on the celebration table. The altar usually has three tiers to represent the Trinity. In 1955, Pope Pius XII instituted the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker to be celebrated on May 1st. This date coincides with the Secular International Workers' Day, promoted by the Labour Movement, and it reflects Joseph's status as patron saint of workers. Catholic and other Christian teachings and stories about or relating to Joseph and the Holy Family frequently stress his patience, persistence, courage, and hard work. The Feast of St. Joseph the Worker is an optional memorial. St. Joseph is the patron saint of a number of cities, regions, and countries, among them the Americas, Austria, Belgium, Canada, China, Croatia, Indonesia, Mexico, Korea, Peru, the Philippines, and Vietnam, as well as of families, fathers, expectant mothers, explorers, pilgrims, travelers, immigrants, house sellers and buyers, craftsmen, engineers, and working people in general. For more information about St. Joseph and hundreds of other venerated Catholic saints, please visit www.catholic.org or mycatholic.life.